Hi, let's see how to fix the Baldur's Gate 3 facial hair textures and the sliders not working. Are you facing the issues with the facial hair textures and the sliders not working in the Baldur's Gate 3? After patch 4, many players have encountered this frustration problem, but we are not. In this particular video, we will explore some effective solutions to produce the facial hair textures and the sliders issue in the Baldur's Gate 3. So let's see how to fix the Baldur's Gate 3 facial hair textures and the sliders not working. The first method is force the anisotropic fit frame to X16. This setting can enhance the texture quality at the various angles and the distances, which might improve the facial hair textures. You can usually force these settings through your graphic cards control panel for your specific game profile. Okay, so for NVIDIA graphic card, open the NVIDIA control panel. Go to the 3D settings, manage 3D settings under the program settings, select Baldur's Gate 3, set anisotropic filtering to 16x click apply for amd graphic card open the amd radio settings softwares click on the gaming tab and select baldur's gate 3 set an anisotropic filtering to over the application settings under 16x after changes for intel graphic card follow the steps sequentially one by one okay the third method is switch from ultra to dx11 some players find that switching the graphics API from the Vulkan to DirectX 1.1 can solve the various graphical issues. You can change these settings within the games option or through the game launcher before you start playing. To switch from Vulkan to DirectX 11, the Baldur's Gate 3, start the Baldur's Gate 3, enter the settings menu from the main menu from find the graphics or the display settings section, choose the DirectX 11 as the graphics API, apply changes and may require games restart. If you are using a game launcher and the Baldur's Gate 3 launcher, find the settings of the configuration menu, adjust the graphics API to the DirectX 1.1, save settings and start the game. The third method is disable the DLSS. If your game supports the deep learning super sampling and it's enabled, try turning it off. DLSS aims to boost the performance by using the AI upscaling techniques, but it can sometimes interfere with the texture rendering. Disable the deep learning super sampling Start the Baldur's Gate 3 and open the main menu. Go to the settings or the options menu. Look for the graphics or the video settings section. Find the DLSS settings of the toggle. Turn off the DLSS and or set it off. Save your changes and exit the menu. The fourth method is try resetting. Try setting anti-aliasing to TAA. Temporal anti-aliasing is a method that can smooth out the jagged edges in the textures. If this option is available in the Baldur's Gate 3 settings, try enabling it to see if it affects the facial hair textures and the sliders. To set the anti-aliasing to the temporal anti-aliasing, learn the Baldur's Gate 3 and access the main menu, navigate to the settings or the options menu, go to the graphics or the video settings sub-menu, look for the anti-aliasing options, select the TAA as your anti-aliasing method, save the changes and close the menu. Fifth method is update your drivers. Outdated graphic drivers can lead to a textures and rendering issues. Make sure your graphic card drivers are up to date. You can usually find the latest drivers on the manufacturer website or through your graphic card benefit management software. Okay, for these, you need to follow some of the steps for NVIDIA graphic cards. Go to the NVIDIA driver download page, NVIDIA driver download, select your graphic card series and the model, choose the correct options. Operating system version, download the latest driver, run the downloaded installer and follow the prompts to update the driver. For AMD graphic card, follow these steps sequentially one by one. Okay, so for Intel graphic cards, go to the Intel download center, use the search or the browse function to find the specific graphic model. Uh, download the latest driver for your operating system, open the installer and follow the guided steps. Sixth method is verify the Baldur's Gate 3 Baldur's Gate 3 game files corrupted or the missing game files can cause the unexpected issues to verify the integrity of the game files for the Baldur's Gate 3 on the Steam. Open the Steam client and navigate to a library. Right click on the Baldur's Gate 3 in the list of the games. Click on the properties from the context menu. Go to the local files tab. Click on the verify integrity of the game files. Seventh method is restart the Baldur's Gate 3. Some of the simple steps what you can do is that you can just restart the Baldur's Gate 3 game. So that will fix any kind of bugs or the glitches present in the game. The eighth method is wait for a fix. Sometimes the issues like widespread 
and acknowledged by the developers keep an eye on the official Baldur's Gate 3 forums and their social media channels for any announcement regarding the patches of the fixes that addresses the problem. The ninth method is contact the Baldur's Gate 3 support team. If you have tried all other troubleshooting methods and if you are still facing the problem, you can contact the Baldur's Gate 3 support team for further assistance. They are the expertise. They will help you to fix the problem and they will give you the better solution. Okay. So that's all about this. Thank you.